Do you guys smell that Volvo gravy? I sure do. What's up guys, it's Drifts and Lifts here. All right, so today's episode, we are at Mission Raceway, which is our local track here in British Columbia, Canada. And uh, we are actually having our first ever two day drift event. So, and they're actually running a couple different tracks at the same time. We got a bunch of Volvos out guys. Uh, we got my good friend and roommate Oliver here in his 940. Um, we've been doing a little bit of work on this car over the last little while, so it's come out pretty good. Um, we actually installed a new turbocharger on it, so this is an old school Garrett T3, uh, bolted to the 90 manifold. Uh, his car is 1994, 940, so it's got a squirter engine. And actually, shout out to Total Turbo Services, my turbo sponsor. Uh, he does all of our turbo stuff, and he rebuilt this Garrett T3 and basically made it brand new again for Oliver. Uh, makes about 14 pounds. This car is awesome now. It really rips. Um, we shined up the, the wheels on it too. That's another thing guys I've been doing lately is shining up billet wheels. I also did it on this car too. Um, so we got Goldie. Um, yeah, this car has been awesome for me guys. You may have remembered the Toge video where I crashed it. Since then I actually straightened it out. We uh, hooked a couple chains and stuff and yanked it over with the truck. So now our trunk gaps are pretty much the same. The back end's not tweaked over. I put another bumper on it. I got this spoiler on it now, so it looks really sick. I'm really stoked on that. Um, overall, the car just, is just looking so rad. The last thing I got to do is build a little roof spoiler for it, and uh, you know, then this thing's gonna be 100% good to go aesthetically. So I'll just pop the hood real quick. Let's see what we got under here. You guys all know this car. It's super simple, uh, B230F motor no turbo um it's got a kale racing header got a k cam in it yeah it's a good it's a good unit i'm really excited to uh drift it all day one thing i got to say guys these tires i took them out for a little test last night and they had no grip i'm really hoping once they heat up on the track they'll get a little bit more grip but it was crazy understeer last night so i'm hoping that doesn't give me an issue today these are nice tires but they're really old so we'll see how it goes we got goldie here so i got my friend colby he is the new owner of goldie and uh, it's been a little while since you've had this car out, eh? Yeah. About yeah. a year since you've drifted it? Yeah. yeah. It's got a cage now. It's got a cage now, let's check it out. So it's got the same, if you guys have been watching the channel for a long time, you'll remember this car. Uh, this was Goldie, so this was the one that it did. You know, it's got custom chips in it, it's got bigger injectors. It's got a Garrett T3, T4 upgrade, some RC 440 injectors, three inch uh, 960 MAF. Um, it's got angle mods, BC coilovers, looking here it's got a cage now so our good friend jake does all the cages for us uh yeah it looks pretty sick in here honestly he's got the sparko racing seat is that a real sparko that is a real sparko beautiful yeah. yeah it's uh it's one of like the street seats so it doesn't have a fifth point sweet yeah i'm liking his uh music setup all right guys so uh here is <laughs> here is a creation that has been built over the last little while so uh my good friend Aaron Glendon is going to be driving it today. So this is actually our good friend Jake's car and he acquired this. It was a $500 non-turbo manual transmission 740, 1990. So it's run on LH 2.4, um, kind of an oddball car. Usually these cars are Regina. So, you know, it's a little bit of a weird one, but the car is in pretty poor shape. It has a lot of rust on it. So we figured it would be sick to make it into like the loner drift vehicle because Jake already has a full built bmw powered 740 and he also has a missile uh, like a full missile spec bmw powered 740 so this car he figured he'd make it into like the loner car and uh jake installed a proper like roll cage so you can tan them if you want aaron did bedsides on it so yeah i'm i'm excited to see this thing rip i hope uh aaron can you know get it all good i know it needs a little bit of like tweaking uh because they literally slapped this thing together in like you know a week's time pretty much so um, are you excited to drive this? Oh, dude, I'm stoked. I don't <laughs> even know what to expect. So Aaron actually w w used to have a truck Nissan 240. Long, long time ago. And then he's had like a couple truck drift vehicles. So Aaron's back where he likes to be in a truck. No, the A-Tractor V2 should go good, bro. We're going to toss on the GoPro, guys. We're going to go for a couple laps in the gold car. Like I said, we have two layouts running today. So we'll be able to choose between the two. It's going to be really fun. Hey, we got another Volvo here. That's my friend Riley here. 940 hook height. boy. So I'm not gonna lie guys, I think I am responsible for all the Volvos at drift events in Canada these days. Um, you used to never see Volvos at drift events, but these days there's usually about like four or five of them each event. So 
Um, I'm gonna take the uh, the credit for that. All right, before I go out there, guys, I'm just gonna do a quick little walk around the pits. I know I never really do this, kind of check out some of the cars that we have out at our drift events locally here. So, um, yeah, this one's a uh, BMW E36, and it's got uh, S52 in it. Yep. On yeah. nitrous. S52 with nitrous and a tune. Uh, I see coilovers and an FDF angle kit. Sick, this is a rad car. Yeah. Probably sounds keep... rowdy too. It's not bad, yeah. I just wanted to keep it good for grassroots. Yeah. Cause I got the pro amp car. Sick dude. All right, so we got E46. We got 240 drift truck with V8 and turbo. G35 missile car, practice car. We got our buddy Dylan in his uh, Nissan hard body. Good unit. Got some BMWs over here, guys. What do we got here? This one looks pretty nice. Nice car. G35s. These are good cars. People seem to really like these G35s these days. You're seeing quite a few out at the drift events nowadays. We got a 350Z convertible. Really nice Cressida here. This thing's super sick. More Beamers. Another uh, E36. I think this is a Q45, if I'm not mistaken. Heck yeah. What's up, man? Look who showed up, guys. This guy looked familiar to you guys. This is cameraman Michael. And uh, so this time, he is not out here filming the Volvos drifting. He's going to be drifting his own car. So uh, he's been building this for a long time. Um, it's turned out very beautiful, I'm not going to lie. This car is probably one of the nicest cars here. So uh, let's do like a quick little walk around of your car, Mikey. 1UZ V8. Yeah, stock. Um, so it's a 1UZ from an LS400. How's it yeah, going, Rob? Good, are you? Okay, good. Supposedly had 90,000 kilometers on it. Supposedly had low, yeah. Toyota Tundra <clears throat> headers, full there and take, whatever. Nice coil rad. So this is probably about 200 to 220 wheel horsepower. It's gonna be super sweet in this chassis. Um, this is a perfect little grassroots car. So, yeah, dude, sick. Square G33 wheels the other day. So Mikey just got, these are actually R33 replicas, R33 GTR wheels. So those look really, really good on that. Uh, just gotta put the window down. Look at you guys' custom dash even. Yeah. It's incredible. Nice little sick cage. Dude, this is proper. <laughs> well done. This is a nice build. I gotta give uh, Rob and Mikey here props for uh, yeah, for this car. Props. What's up? Give Rob the props. Yeah, I gotta get this guy right here did most of the work. Ooh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Yeah, no doubt. It's come out. Fun. It's come out good though. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. All right, here's something you don't see every day at a drift event, guys. Mustang. It's got like a streamer pipe through the hood. So it must be boosted. Looks like it's boosted.
because he actually just got into drifting when he moved into my house. been having a good time in the custom built Volvo drift truck today the A tractor but not A it's an EH because we're Canadian um, anyway so Aaron said uh, you should take it for a rip Colton so that's what I'm gonna do right now we're gonna head down to the difficult track and we're gonna do a lap or two in this um, he doesn't have very many tires but this truck does not go through tires very fast because it's basically just skidding along instead of actually like power drifting so let's see how she goes all right guys, so we're not even gonna warm up on the uh, the like beginner track. We're just gonna go straight for the man track. Um, so everything works in this car. It has a welded diff, but the only problem is it's a really long diff that the NA manual cars came with. So it's got a 331 in it. Um, it would have been a lot peppier with like a 373 or a 391 or even a 410, but um, the fact that it has no weight on it also might make it, you know, drift all right. So we're just gonna see how it goes. Ha ha ha! 
or it's got a scratchy suck in. Yeah, it doesn't like suck in much. so we're getting near the end of the day and uh you know it's been a great time oliver's engine is sounding a little bit weird he went off the track there's a lot of sand and it went all over his engine bay you can see it's all in his frame rail down there um you know a bunch near the head but we're a little bit worried because he's not running a rear timing belt cover or a top one a, a lot of sand definitely went down into the timing belt and his engine's making a bit of a weird sound now so um it still runs fine but we're not too sure we should definitely pull the lower crank pulley off i think and then take that um, belt cover off and just make sure there's no like grit and dirt like you know chattering around in the crank gear this does have an ipd turbo camshaft in it which makes this engine into an interference engine so uh you definitely don't want to mess with uh jamming up gears and that kind of thing but um yeah guys gold car has been absolutely phenomenal i can't say en enough good things about this car uh, I did damage it a little bit though. Um, I went a little bit too hot into the wall tap entry there. Definitely, you know, tweaked it a bit, but it is what it is. I can probably put a new taillight in and dent this out. But honestly, guys, it just kind of, it's the way it goes, right? Like uh, I was just getting in the zone. I was shredding as hard as I could. I was having a blast. And sometimes you push a little bit too hard. Um, I kind of have to dedicate one of the cars to a drift car. So this one, might end up being that one i might save the wagon for kind of street car stuff but i don't know guys you know i just i just can't keep a car clean it's just too hard i try my best but things always seem to happen i just can't get away from it so unfortunately i have no more tires for today um i'm gonna have to go home and uh get some more tires so i can come back tomorrow and shred some more so that's pretty much a wrap up for today but uh yeah we're gonna continue tomorrow um hopefully no more carnage and hopefully have a good time Thanks for watching.